Eh, screw it, I'll just start now. <laughs> Hello, everybody! How are we doing today? It has been a little bit since I've streamed. And I'm just sitting outside the FC house. You can tell that it's Ju uh, June. Because, uh, Pride Month. Yep. Happy Pride to all of those out there for all the colors of the rainbow, however that works. Uh, I don't want to be the kind of... How do I put this? The person who is like the corporate logo of Aperture Science throwing on a rainbow and calling it a day, or Cyberdyne Studios calling it a day. I don't want to be the person that thinks like, oh yeah, it's a Pride logo, of course I'm celebrating. Really, you're all welcome in my chat room. Easily. Uh, let me just turn off some stuff here. Uh, as for me, I'm Ace, so there's like one, two colors that I'm, you know, I really like here, but uh, all are welcome. So, yeah. Oh, and also, uh, Falco Rhiannon. Yeah, that's a reference to the, uh, I believe that's a reference to the Stonegate Riot? Oh, I, I don't know my history about the, uh, that too much. Alright, let me just check on my girls real quick. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, thanks for the snow flax. Uh, assigned Vetcher, Woodland Exploration, just keep that going. Now let's see, Saffron. What have you brought for me? Ooh, Kumbira skin. Very nice. All right. Go ahead and go back to your field explorations, please. There we go. So today is a rather important day for me. Because it's the day before the final shape releases on for Destiny 2 and still haven't pre-ordered it. I know, I'm wearing the t-shirt that has the uh, Garden of the Salvation boss on it and I still have not pre-ordered the final shape. I'm waiting. The, yeah, if it's a really good expansion, I'll get it as soon as possible. If it is not a very good expansion, I'll wait until, I don't know, like, summer sale, maybe? It's not, it's not gonna go on summer sale, but I'll wait a little bit for it. I'm very patient. Oh, what am I thinking? The real reason I'm excited is because today, I get to take a look at my reputation. So, previously, for Allied Quest, I managed to get all of a Realm Reborn all the way up to Allied, which is a month and a half long ordeal. In contrast, we have Heaven's Word. I would have streamed yesterday had it not been for some IRL stuff, and I am one quest short of actually doing this, so let's, let's head there right now. I need to go to Heaven's Word, Zenith. Yep. Oh, by the way, new haircut, just for a little bit. It's growing on me a little bit. I uh, was doing some Baja, which is a Shadowbringers thing. And I had enough to buy the haircut that was available there. It was like windswept style or something. I'm like, oh, cool. I got this re relatively rare haircut. Let's see what it looks like. And it did not vibe with my character at all. But then I was looking at all the other stuff that I had. And I had this, Styled for Hire. This is a PvP haircut. It kind of has a light Bayonetta vibe to it. You know, Bayonetta 2 vibe, which... Not a huge fan of it, but it does have that hair above the eye thing that the other haircut have. It had. It just doesn't have the ponytail in the back. So it's it's decent. I mean, the hair on the side is you no know, ponytail though. It only cost me two thousand gil to get this done, so it's nothing. All right, but before I get to the allied quests, I actually need to work that mallow. Tell me, Jake. Have you ever heard of sparkling mallows? At the very least, I'm sure you've seen them. Twinkling balls of fluff dotting the landscape here and there. We plan to use them to spruce up the monument grounds, Koopo. I sent someone to gather a few, but alas, they've yet to return. You would think picking a few plants would be an easy task. I'm sure it's nothing serious, but I would be remiss not to be certain. Which is why I need you to travel to Soul All and see if anything is wrong. Alright, let's go, L2. Yeah, speaking of things growing on me, the L2 mount, it is... Very much an adorable mount. I am heading the wrong direction. Comparing this to the Monster Hunter mount, that is Rathalos. I think Rathalos is a cooler mount because it's Rathalos. But L2 is actually very nice. It's, uh... We've got the little armband. We've got the hammer. We've got the satchel with all the other tools on it. And, of course, we have the beret on the horn. Right there. So cute. 
I might swap back to Wrath of Lilith eventually. This is just like a temporary thing before Dawn Trail. Because unlike you know, Destiny 2, you had to make sure your glam was in place before logging out last time. It did, and I'm satisfied with the way my character looks right now in that game. But in Final Fantasy, you can, you know, before any major cutscenes start, you can change the look of your character. And I suppose that's like one of the little things why I think this game is better than Destiny 2. All right, all right. Hey, you're that crafting adventurer, right? Thank goodness you're here. I can't finish harvesting these sparkling mallows now that my hatchet's ruined, Kubo. I worked really hard, and I'd hate to upset the Mogmenders back home. Do, do you think you can help me fix it? The head of the hatchet bent somehow, making it impossible to cut down the mallows. A master craftsman like you shouldn't have a problem making a new one. Thankfully, I have spare material for repairs right here. When you've crafted what we need, take it to the Moogle floating just over there, and he'll make my tools as good as new, Koopo. All right. So we need to synthesize the gathering tool components. And to do that, uh, where's that button? It's this one. I don't need the gathering log. I need the crafting log. And the crafting log, level-based recipes, go to tribal quests, go to Moogle. And one of these right there. We got three of these. Let's start making some stuff. So the beautiful thing about being a level 90 armorer, in fact, level 90 Omni Crafter, is that I can just click the button and it just automatically works. It won't, it's not until like Shadowbringers that I get even the slightest bit of difficulty. And then the Endwalker stuff is alright. I'm doing all of the allied quests in order because I want to. Even though it's probably more pertinent to do the Endwalker allied quests as soon as possible, but I'm, I'm here for the mountain stuff. So, hello there. Before you say anything, I know why you're here. He broke another hatchet, didn't he? <sighs> well, let's have a look then. Here we go. A component to be used in repairing tools for gathering sparkling mallows, only for use in Moogle Tribal Quest. There you go. Oh, you made him new parts to fix it, Koopo. That's awfully kind of you. I'll have him back to work in no time. If Mogek asks, tell him that work is proceeding as planned. All right. Report to Mogek the magnificent, the uh, marvelous, not magnificent. There's too many moves, man. So yeah, this is going to be a little fun. This is going to be a relatively short stream today because, one, it's Monday. I don't normally stream on Mondays. And, two, the reason I didn't stream this past weekend is because of some real-life stuff that I touched upon on other uh, on social media, on other previous streams that I did. I had bedbugs. And Saturday is the day that an exterminator came over and treated my place for bedbugs. I don't want to say that he killed the bedbugs because... He couldn't find a nest. However, he was incredibly thorough with the job. It was a not just a pesticide, but a heat treatment. What that means is that every every room in your house is uh, cooked up to about 145 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about... Actually, hang on. I want to say that's like 70 degrees centigrade, but let me just double check. Go, go, graphing calculator. Where's the temperature? All right. From Fahrenheit to celsius if i have 145 degrees fahrenheit that is 62 degrees centigrade and for the math inclined out there it is 336 degrees kelvin so yeah he gets warm very warm and you know set that up for about four hours i believe i wasn't allowed i had to leave my house at eight and i was not allowed back into my house until six o'clock that evening so 10 hours of just that. And let me tell you, oh, we got more stories after this. So, welcome back. Ah, so his tool was broken. Troubled, just as I suspected. Hmm? You must have misheard me, my dear friend. I didn't say, I'm sure it's nothing serious. I said, I'm sure it's something serious. Why else would I send you to help them, Koopo? Fine, whatever. But Master Mogzin wants to play. Master Mogzin is waving at you with a smile on his face. The zenith of craftsmanship. Jake, everyone's been asking for you, Koopo. You better speak with Old D and Master Terrison to see what they want. All right. Let's chit-chat. There you are, Jake. Do not look so tense, my friend. For once, this does not concern our difficulties repairing the plaza. On the contrary, I simply wish to offer you my sincerest gratitude for your help thus far. You've given this old man a meaningful way to spend his days, and thanks to the efforts of all and sundry, I've recaptured a piece of my family's history. Yes, my family. For although House Zemal is not... Zemal? I think it's Zemal, actually. 
is now renowned for the skill at the stonemasonry that was not always the case. No, as recently as three centuries ago, we were but humble crafters. It was not until the Lord of House Zemel married the daughter of a minor lord, whose house was known for its deep knowledge of architecture, that the first brick of our renown was laid. Wow, words. That maiden's family name was Farashor. I think it's, yeah, Farashor. I'm terrible with French. A name which rings familiar, yes? One of the three original architects of Barlands. Mari okay, come on now! Marinch de Farchot. His blood courses through the veins of every son and daughter of House Zemal, Zemel, and his teachings have enriched our lives. To think after more than a thousand years, ancestor and descendant would be joined by the same work of art. The Maya must surely be smirking at her own cleverness. Regardless, I am grateful for whatever whims of fate have led me to this moment. Ah, but enough of my sentimentality. I have come to a decision. Until the day I draw my last breath, I shall continue on here and guide the Mogmenders. Of course, you are always welcome should you wish to offer a helping hand. Alright. Let's go speak with Oldie. Jake, greetings. Quite the impressive work, wouldn't you agree? When Mogsen first told me about Barlez, I was sure nothing would ever get done. I certainly never dreamed he would go so far as to receive Golan Bursty's praise. If not for you and Terrison, Mogzin would still be caught up in trying to avoid work. I thank you for keeping by his side through all of this, and I look forward to seeing what works the Mogmenders produce in the future. As for me, I have no pressing engagements for the next hundred years, after which I will go into hibernation. Until then, I plan on remaining here to help with, it, with the repair of Zenith. If you find yourself back here sometime within the next century, be sure to say hello. I'm sure I will. And with that, we need to speak with Master Mogzin. You're back, Koopo. Now that you've heard everyone else's thanks, it's my turn. Thank you. The Mogmenders still have much work ahead, and soon will begin repairing Zenith proper. No doubt we'll face difficulties that'll make repairing this plaza look as simple as painting a pebble, but the experience we gained, we've gained here will see us through. The Mogmenders will never forget how much you helped us, and we will forever remember the power of will, perseverance, and determination. Do, 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 do. <laughs> of course, if you ever find yourself missing our company, or if you're just in the mood for some honest labor, we'll always welcome you among our ranks, Koopo. Alright, there we go. We get three ventures. So, I almost got paid back what I paid my girls earlier. And with that, we are blood sworn with the Mogmenders. Let me just tell the FC. Uh... Uh, further, you will receive an experience point bonus upon completion of Google Daily Tribes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So from here, uh, Mandarin Mog Slippers, I already have some of that on me. Let's double check. Wind Up Dragonette, Cloud Mallow Seeds. We have a Marksworthy Mog Sofa and a Dragon Floor Lamp. I'm telling my FC like what the big deal is because I just did it. <laughs> Got something in my teeth. All right. So now I need to. Ooh, okay. We got others. Moogle framing kit. All right. I will gladly take that. That's only available once you get up to Bloodsworn with uh, a tribe. All right. Unidentifiable seeds, bone, glass fiber. All right. Yep. Double checking, making sure everything's good. We're just going to pop that. May as well. And now, for the big moment, let's play some cards, Master Mogzin. Do I know Triple Triad? Why, of course, Koopo. It was all the rage of Mog Home not too long ago, and I'm not bragging when I say I'm one of the best among us. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. Hehe, I doubt even you'll be able to beat me. Okay, I have two of the four cards already. Same and plus. All right, let's do the recommended stuff. Let's see if I can't beat this poor little dude into submission. Oh, interesting. I gotta do that. Then. Aha! 
Okay, um... This is risky. Phew, okay. And hey, I already have a, um... A race Velger car. Nice. I, I cannot believe it! My cards, have they truly failed me? Koopopo! Please, Jake, you must play me again. I will, because I want the rest of those cards, believe me. But, uh, looks like I also got an achievement, which would be- Oh, hey! <laughs> would you look at that? Defeat 107 unique NPCs at Triple Triad. We got the Vitra card. So now I have to think, where does the actual allied quest start? You have a no like one? A any chance? No, little buddy? All right. I think I need to head back to Foundation. So this is gonna be fun. There is one more thing to do with all the tribe quests because at this point, I have completed, uh, yep, Bloodsworn, Bloodsworn, Bloodsworn. They are all at Bloodsworn. You'll notice that there's an EXP uh, point of like zero out of zero, meaning I've maxed them out. But much like with the A Realm Reborn people, because allied is the highest you can go, for all except for Shadowbringers, uh, I may as well say this now, you cannot get allied with all of the Shadowbringers tribes because COVID-19 happened and they never got around to implementing it. That is a real shame. But for Heaven's Word, I need to try and figure out where in the frick this starts. Uh, good question. All right, so if it's not here, let me head up to the pillars then. Uh, don't see it here. Okay, let me just go. Word allied quests. Da da da. Love the music. All right, Heaven's Word. Uh, to begin this quest chain, you must complete all the main quests for the Heaven's Word tribes. Yes. And additionally, let's complete the main scenario, Heaven's Word. Yes. After completing all of the entire quest chain, play the da 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 da. Okay, when. So I need to speak with Drydox, who is at. Idleshear. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of weird that the goblins aren't actually a tribe yet in the game. <laughs> you would think the gobbies would be one of them. But somewhere around here we have... Ah, here we go. Finally found you. So I need to choose... Okay. Hang on. Oh, I need to be a Disciple of War of Magic. Alright. Well, which one of my jobs do I want to roll as? I kind of want to roll... Let's do something very silly. Let's roll Blue Mage. Ooh, I'm loving that look. That is actually... Alright, this is actually a pretty cool look. <laughs> Alright, the hair with this getup is it's 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 growing on me a little bit. I might swap back to what I originally had, but yeah, let's roll blue mage, because blue mage can do some wild stuff. When good dragons go bad, Drydox has a message for you from an old friend. Psh. Uplander come at perfect time! Deft Arm was just here looking for Uplander. Something about new busy deals that Deft Arm would be making. Busy deals for which Deft Arm is needing Uplander's aid. Must be big busy deals, thinks Drydox, because Deft Arm was running here and there like wild wildebeest. Uplander is master to Deft Arm. Yes, Uplander should make quick feet to Village of Walkie Bugs. Help pupil. All right. Well, we need to speak with the Vath Deft Arm at Lost As Vath. This is the, well, yeah, I'll use the teleport ticket. I have 670 of these things. I do not care to just use them like water. So there are three tribes rather than five starting from Heaven's Word onward. And we have two combat tribes. The first of which we're going to talk about are the Vath. We'll get to the other two when we get to the other two. The Vath are located here within the Dravanian Forelands. And these quests really aren't too bad at all. Not gonna lie. The quest, most of these quests are just go here, do the thing, and come back. That's literally it, right? There's nothing too exciting about doing these tribe quests for the tribe quests themselves. Story-wise, what happened is that the Vath are usually part of a big, gigantic hive mind. Known as, or rather, the Nath. G-N-A-T-H. The Nath are part of a hive mind, but the Vath splintered off from that and became independent. And so the story here was basically helping the Vath 
gained their independence. The Vath Death Arm here almost defected back to the Nath and lost his sense of self, but he managed to beat that and we defeated the One Mind once and for all. That is essentially what happened. But we need to speak to the Vath Death Arm. Master, you return, and not a moment too soon. I have come upon a tremendous opportunity to further expand our adventurous guild, and I would seek your aid in seeing it to fruition. Oh yeah, they also made a guild, by the way. I was consulting with Vidofnir of s some days ago when she spoke to me of another tribe that might benefit from our services. I believe she called them Moggles? Muggles? Something like that, at least. <sighs> Man, of all the references this game can make, this one has aged... Well, the books are fine, it's the author that sucks. As she told it, these furry creatures make their home in the churning mists, where they now toil day and night to rebuild a great and ancient plaza with the aid of dragons and men. Surely such an industrious tribe would have much in common with myself and my compatriots. Very much indeed. Yes, I simply must make the acquaintance of these... What were they called again? Moogles! They're called Moogles, Koopo. Ah, yes, Moogles. I trust that a great adventurer like yourself is on good terms with these Moogles, Master. You will introduce me to them, yes? Yeah, sure, I'll do it. A thousand thank yous, Master. The success of our guild has brought much prosperity to our colony, but a true hero does not rest on his laurels. This is a lesson I have learned from observing you, Master. Yes, one of many. Master and student, striking out on adventure once more. My heart pounds in anticipation. Let us make for the churning mists without delay. I shall race you there. I mean, he's going to beat me there because that's kind of how the game works. But, yep, rendezvous with the Deft Vath Arm in Moghom. Let's see you beat a teleport, pal. He's going to beat me. And here we are. I'm surprised you managed to run here this quickly. Considering that you need a dragon to get up here, technically, but whatever. I have never been above the clouds before, Master. The sight is simply breathtaking. So breathtaking. That said, these Moogles are a curious creature. How do they stay airborne on such tiny wings? And whatever purpose do those glowing spheres attached to their heads serve? Very curious indeed. At any rate, if they are in need of an adventurer, I am happy to offer them my aid. Alright. Oh boy. Uh, I've, I've spoken about this cat before. This is my, uh, canonical walls pet minion? <laughs> That's Hatsu. He's the most adorable cat. So, the Moogle tribe. This one was absolutely annoying to unlock. So in order to unlock the Vath tribe, we had to do one side quest to unlock them. One. The Moogles take about 20 or so separate, rather, <laughs> separate quests that kind of intertwine with each other until you are finally able to start the quest. And they are the crafting tribe of this particular expansion. And unlike the Ixal, where you needed a very specific item equipped to even make their stuff, you could just make their stuff immediately. So, massive improvement. And also, ever since I got the... <laughs> These knights have been dancing like this for ever since I got the thing done. <laughs> you would think they would get very tired, but they just don't. I envy their stamina. Yes, doing the actual quests themselves, it's not too bad. It's like, fly here, make stuff, come back and deliver it. That's basically it. It's just unlocking them is the worst. Just the absolute worst. And <laughs> look how clean and nice this, this map is. Right? An incredibly nice looking map. When you're trying to clear out every single side quest in this area, it's like, one, you take care of one quest, and then another chain pops up. You gotta take care of that chain. And then another chain pops up back in Foundation, which then leads back to here... God, it's so annoying. But at least it's finally over. Master Mogzin! Hey, buddy, what's up? Koopapa? You would introduce us to a pupil of yours, you say? I thought it was your only pupil. Could it be that I'm not as special as I thought I was, Koopo? Not a pupil in the art of crafting, but of adventure? And like myself, he is not of your kind? Kind of me confused, but if this pupil of yours can help to lighten our load, I see no reason to refuse his aid, Koopo. Come on in, buddy. It's all you. Koopa Bo! Whatever have we here? Those hard scales, those claws, that puny body. Are you some kind of lesser dragon, Koopo? 
I am no dragon, and I am certainly not lesser. I am the deft arm of Lhasa's Bath, an adventurer come to offer my services. In return for due recompense, I will perform any task you desire, no matter how perilous. What say you, my Google friend? Koopapo? You don't look like any adventurer I've ever seen, but hard workers are always welcome at Mogholm. That said, we are a community of builders. If you lack crafting skills, I feel I can only offer you menial tasks. Collecting rubbish, cracking Koopo nuts, etc. It's not a glamorous job, but someone has to do it, Koopo. Collecting? <sighs> Very well. Consider your Koopo nuts as good as cracked. No, 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 no. Did you see how quickly he agreed to take on those tedious tasks? I've taken a liking to this one already. We'll have to prepare a very special welcome for his return. In true Moogle fashion, goop up up But I almost forgot. Terrace and water the word with you, Jake. Why don't you pay him a visit? Now I must be off to prepare a special surprise for our new friend. Okay. as we pan up and see the work that the Moogles have been doing. So, the Moogles, their particular cri uh, tribe story is restoring this plaza here. Originally, this was all just rubble, just pure rubble. But over the course of doing the, wait. Da, da, da. Oh, someone just shouted for uh, another nightclub, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right, never mind that. Yeah, if I'm gonna have to mute say and tells and yells and shouts in general chat, or just like leave it on the free company channel when Dawn Trail comes out, because I don't want people will spoil in chat. They'll be promptly banned, but they will be, you know, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this particular area used to be rubble, but Mogzin wanted to prove that the Boogles were up to the task of repairing all of this, and at first they were all lazy, but. With a little bit of help here and there, we were able to rebuild this plaza back to its former glory. And Dancing Knights. So let's speak with the Vath Deft Arm before we continue. Hey, buddy. I am an adventurer, not some common... Ah, forgive me, Master. What I meant to say is that my task is not yet done. All right. Doom. Because I'm lazy. Oh, Terrison! Ah, Jake, tis a pleasure to see you again. I see that it is not merely the Moogles and the Dragons who hold you in the highest of esteem. Yes, I knew you were different from the moment I first laid eyes upon you. If you would indulge this old man once more, there is a small favor I would ask of you as well. It concerns our mutual friend, Old D. Twould seem Gullenbursty has taken him under his tutelage in hopes of teaching him to roar like a mighty dragon. But the little one's efforts have yet to bear fruit. I tried to reason with him. Why, by his own admission, even the greatest of dragons often need a hundred years to muster their strength, but the stubborn lad was having none of it. He insisted that he could not afford to wait. For you see, he means to show off his roar to his dear friend Mogzin, and he has recently learned that Moogles are not blessed with the longevity of dragons. He made me promise to keep this a secret from Mogzin, but he said nothing of you. Might you be so kind as to offer him a few words of encouragement? I am certain that he that would carry more weight coming from a brave adventurer than a mere artisan such as myself. Where'd Mogson go? He was he was literally right here. <laughs> no matter. Oldie, you got something to say to me? Oh, Jake, what brings you to Bar Les? Let me guess. You too have come to watch the puny pathetic oldie bring disgrace and dishonor to the name of dragons everywhere. <sighs> Old D is clearly not his typical confident self. May have there is something you might do to lift the dragon its spirits? I know what it is. The good old fashioned rally emote. Jake, but of course you speak true. A proud dragon does not stew and sulk when there is work to be done. Just watch. The next time we meet, my roar will be as mighty as that of Race Velger himself. I do hope Gullen Burst is not cross with me for running off. All right, where are you going, buddy? Oh boy, Terrison, we might have a problem. Old D's back to his old self, you say? Warms this old man's heart to hear it. I knew I chose the right lad for the job. Truly, you stand as a model to dragon, boogle, and man alike. Speaking of which, your pupil has yet to return from his task. I'm sure he won't be much longer, but in the meantime. I dare say you've earned yourself a rest. Why not warm yourself by the fire while we wait? Alright, wait for the Deft Arm's return. 
He's right here. <laughs> okay, where is this spot I need to be? Oh, hang on. Map? It's over here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Let's just wait. Cue the cutscenes! Because I know how this game works. My arm aches fiercely, very fiercely. I thought I had long since left this shell-breaking busywork behind, but it would seem that only crafters are trusted with important tasks in this place. Do not ask me, mind you, what those important tasks might be. The Moogles spend more time flying about and pulling each other's palms than doing anything resembling actual labor. <sighs> but forgive me, my griping master. I will go report to Master Mogzin. Nod. Let's roll. I am done with my task. The rocks that littered your plaza will plague you no more, and your cupo nuts are cracked and fit for consumption. Dot, dot, dot. Do you have nothing to say? I said that I picked up your damn... Er, those accursed rocks and cracked every last cupo nut. Every last one. Huh? Surprise! Did my oh-so-clever creation fool you? You exasperated expression tells me that it did, Koopo. I planted the fur hair by hair and entered a few tufts of clod mallet to make the palm float. I dare say it's as lifelike as I am, Koopo. The only difference is the hammer in its hand, but no one notices, Koopo. Yes, I can say without a doubt that this will go down in Moogle history as one of Moggs' most prodigious pranks ever. Oh, and good work, by the way. Next time you have some rubbish that needs picking up or Koopo nuts that needs cracking, rest assured you'll be the first one we call, Koopo. I... I have never been so insulted in my life. I toil and trudge from dusk till dawn for you, and you repay me with this mockery? I take umbrages at this great umbrage. Whatever's the matter? Surely you've heard, heard that it is through our clever pranks that we Moogle show our affection... Uh, our appreciation and affection for our... Fru Enough! I came here to lend my aid as an adventurer, not play errand boy for a group of slackers who wouldn't know what hard work was if it came up and ripped those ridiculous palms off their heads. Slackers, Koopo? I'll have you know that we Mogmenters have restored bar leads to a glory not seen in generations. You take that back, Koopo. Take it back this instant. Friends, you must come quickly. Gullenbursi has gone mad. Why? He nearly tortured an unwitting temple knight. I scarcely escaped with my own life. What is this? A dragon seized with anger bodes ill indeed. Come, Jake. Mogzin, we must look into this at once. Nod. An, an angry dragon? I... But no, the deft arm will not falter. Wherever you go, master, I will follow. Lead the way. You got it. Well... We need to speak with Mogzin at Zenith. That's going to be a bit of a flight. A little bit of a flight. So yeah, past Saturday, bedbug treatment. Uh, 6 o'clock came in. I was told by friends on Discord who have had this style of uh, treatment done before that prepare to sweat. I'm like, okay, fine. I've lived in the summer around here. It gets hot and humid, but it should be fine. Friends, I cannot express just how hot it was inside my house. I open up the garage door, I pull in, I step out of my car, and all of a sudden I'm like hit with a wave of like, oh, that ain't good. <laughs> That's warm. I open the door to my house, it's real warm. I go up to the second story and, oh, oh man, it was so awful. I, at that point, opened up every single window in my house, turned on every fan I had, and it didn't do a thing that night because it was raining. I couldn't leave the windows open for too long because, you know, water damage inside the house, not good. And yesterday, the reason I didn't stream is because I was still sweating. I, from dusk until dawn, had the windows open. It wasn't raining. Had fans blowing everywhere. And it wasn't until that night that it finally cooled down to the point that I was like, okay, I can run the air conditioning now. So, yeah. 
That was bad. Okay. We have a very angry dragon. Oldie. Have mercy, Gullen Bursty. I promise to be a better student from now on. Ooh. That ain't good. Rory not. The man got the breath knocked out of him, but he still lives. Okay. That's Deft Arm. Never before I have sensed such anger, such rage. The urge to run consumes me, but I must resist. All right, Mogzin. Hope you can do some work here, pal. Go, go, diplomacy. What is the meaning of this, Gullen Bursty? You promised to keep our land safe from harm. Now you would turn against us and our friends, Koopo? Have mercy, Gullen Bursty. Surely these men and Moogles have done nothing to incur your ire. Oh, that's a bad aura. Something is gravely amiss. I see naught but pure animal rage in the dragon's eyes. Please stop this, Gullen Bursty! I beg of you! Oh my. Thank you, <sighs> my friends. I owe you my life. What in the name of the good king happened here, Koopo? <sighs> I am not entirely sure myself. I had just arrived to seek Gullen Bursty's wisdom concerning the restoration effort, when all of a sudden we were set upon by a masked man brandishing an imposing firearm. Oh no! Not another masked man! So, once again, this is another time-locked instance where it could be an Asian. It could also not be an Asian. <sighs> Gullen Bursty was struck by a bullet in the course of the battle, after which the man made a swift retreat. Just when I thought we were safe, the dragon turned upon me with a terrifying gaze and unleashed a mighty roar. The next thing I knew, I was lying right where you found me. Inconceivable! The Gullen Bursty I know would never act with such mindless savagery. The, this masked assailant you speak of did something to our friend. I just know it. I'll see that he suffers for his deeds. Calm yourself, oldie. If you put our palms together, we'll get to the bottom of this in no time. Now, why don't the two of us go in search of Golem Bursty, Koopo? Not so fast, my dear Mogzin. We must tend to this man's wounds, and besides, it would be unwise to dash off without forming a proper plan of attack. Let us return to Barles for the moment, and consider our next course of action with due care. Blah, 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 Discussion. And the bath arm's like, I, I'm out. I'm too introverted for this. <laughs> right there with you, pal. All right. We need to return and speak with Mogzin. I just feel like mounting my bird for the moment. So, yeah, that's... Uh, anything else that happened over this weekend? I mean, that was literally just... Bedbugs suck. There's... <laughs> And I don't even, and I don't really think I was even that infected. Maybe one just got inside the house. Well, actually, I've reported before there were like five in total. Like that. But uh, that was, uh, yeah, I got it taken care of, and I have not seen any since. Even though it's been a grand total of two days, I'm still keeping an eye out, and I'm still not sure how they got in my house to begin with. But bed bugs suck. All right, that deft arm. This is a troubling development indeed, but we'll get through this, won't we, Master? After all, we are adventurers, are we not? Yes, adventurers we are. Oldie. The madness in those eyes. That was not the gullen bursty I know. That masked man is behind this somehow. I'm certain of it. Terrison. I cannot say for sure what madness has taken gullen bursty, but it bodes ill for our well-being here. We must take action and swiftly. And yet first, we must needs formulate a plan. Master Mogzin. Well, one thing is clear. This is no time to be bickering amongst ourselves, Koopo. We must put our palms together and figure out what has become of Gullen Bursty. Indeed, indeed. I refuse to accept that he has turned on us of his own accord. We must find him and free him from this madness. Indeed we must, little one. And yet, we must also find out precisely what fate has befallen our friend, and what we might do to cure him, lest any future encounters prove perilous indeed. I, I believe our first course of action should be to track down this masked assailant that we might ascertain the truth behind all that has transpired. Oh, that's Terrison. Take care, Lakewin! Wise counsel indeed. And yet that sounds like a positively perilous proposition in its own right, Koopo. 
who might we know that would be up to the task? Why is everybody looking at me? I cannot say for certain what madness is taking Gullibursi. Yep, I already read that one. Already read... Okay, I'm going to assume Vath is going to say the same thing. All right. Who was that masked man? Master Mogzin is a Moogle with a plan. Jake, I would beseech the aid of you and your deft-armed disciple, Kupo. Pray pursue this masked marauder and find out the truth behind the madness that is taking Gullimbursti. Now this is a task worthy of an adventurer. Mark my words, my Moogle friend. Master and I will track down this mysterious and dangerous foe. A thousand thank yous, Kupo. Might I suggest that you start by asking around here in Barlaz. Perhaps some of them have heard or seen something of this man that we seek. As for myself and old D, we will see what we might learn about Gullenbursty's current whereabouts. Terrison, might I trouble you to watch over the plaza while we are away? You would suggest that a greybeard like myself can offer naught else to your cause? Oh, <laughs> but I jest. Rest assured that you will find not a single stone out of place on your return. Go in safety, friend Mogzin. At last, Master, a task, a task worthy of our skills. Let us split up, see what we can learn about this masked villain. I shall question the Moogles in this area. Would you be so kind as to speak to those gathered around the fountain? We can meet up here when our tasks are done. Share what we have learned. You got it. All right, come on, Hatsu. Sweet kitty. Ask around the masked... Ask around about the masked man at Farles. The Quavering Moogle. D did I see a masked man, you ask? Did I ever, Kupo? He strolled in, branching that fearsome firearm of his and started picking off lesser dragons left and right. Th then when the coast was clear, he dashed off towards old Gullenbursty's place. <laughs> Why, I didn't follow him. I prefer my palm attached to my head, thank you very much. If you're going after him, I encourage you to be very, very careful. I don't know what he's up to, but I can assure you it's no good, Kupo. All right. Hey, guys, can we nix the dancing just for a little bit? Things are a little serious now. I'm curious. I suppose there's a time for work and a time for rest, Koopo. Perhaps I was working too much before. Maybe I'll take a nap until we begin repairing Zenith. Yes, a nice long nap. Hilda? Seeing Gullum Bursty smile as he looked upon the fountain made us realize the true worth of the work we do here. I think I speak for us all when I say we shall see the restoration of Zenith towards to the, through to the very end, regardless of the obstacles that may bar our path forward. Didn't you see him, like, fly in here and cause all sorts of trouble? No, that was someone else. Ooh, the garrulous Templar Knight. Uh, Temple Knight, not Templar. Oh, you be so pleasurable. <laughs> How are you? A masked man? Sure I saw him. Exchanged a few words with him, for that matter. He asked if I knew of any particularly ancient and formidable dragons in the area, so I directed them to the Gullenbursty. You idiot! Why would you do that? Gullenbursty's been attacked, you say? The fury take me. I do hope that it wasn't my fault. Yeah, we got a snitch. We got a snitch. Well, you know what snitches get, right? Hang on, I need to swap the machine just real quick. Shame on you! Alright, where was I? Ah, yes. Blue Mage. Unable to apply glamour plates here. That's fine. I don't need any. I see. So it would seem that this masked marauder set his sights on Gullum Bursty for his power and puissance. Interesting. Very interesting. From my own questionings, I have learned that our quarry has since been sighted in Som All. It would seem he has already left the turning mists behind. We must give chase, yes, and return to the surface. On the way, I would pay a brief visit to Lhasa's bath. I would share this news with the storyteller and see what wisdom he might share with us. And with that, let us see whose legs are faster. I shall race you there, master! We're seriously going to do a race? Really? In my younger days, I would have been ill-content to stay behind while my companions were out adventuring. But today, these old bones can use a respite. And between you and this deft darn Mogs in an old deal, I know that the matter is in capable hands. Yeah, it sucks getting old, doesn't it? Really sucks getting old. Oh, boy. Alright, I need to return to Lost's Vath.
All right, here we are, Vath Storyteller. We must admit we were doubtful at first. Yes, doubtful. But with your guidance, we no longer hunger. We have allies. We know now that our colony does not need to isolate itself. We are very grateful. Yeah, it's kind of difficult for me to tell, like, who is going to be just additional flavor text, uh, flavor conversation to the main side quest I'm on versus they're just regular... Uh, words are kind of hard right now. Yeah, I've had a weekend, as if you couldn't tell. The Depth Arm... I have not seen him. Could it be that the One Mind group once again calls out to him? But no. Even were it so, the One's mind has grown too strong. Still, I worry. Pray find him, that our minds may rest easy. Oh, boy. Uh, not again. So, so Saturday, uh, I couldn't be in my house for the whole ten hours the uh, procedure was being done. So I ended up having to go to my parents' place, of all places. I didn't want to, but I didn't really have anywhere else better to be. So I stopped by, said hello to my mom. Dad was out taking care of grandmother because she's, you know... Uh, yeah, when granddad passed, grandma's on her own now for the most part, so dad's being there to help her out. Hello! So yeah, I read some books, and we'll talk about the books later, but holy crap! Dry docks. Dry Dogs was hunting for Nanka eggs when walkie bugs calling themselves the One Mind Sneaky stepped up from behind, started shooting their shooty sticks. Deft Arm came, saved Dry Dogs from becoming Holy Cheese. You did good. Forgive me, Master. On my way to Lost Vath, I found Dry Dogs here in distress, surrounded by the One Mind. I did only what any adventurer would do, what any adventurer must do. Psh, psh. Dry Dogs was hunting for Nanka eggs when walkie bugs calling themselves the One Mind Sneaky stuff. Yeah, okay. Yep. We already read that line. There is something strange about these One Mind, Master. They were not the One Mind I know. The One Mind you two have seen. They strike with perfect precision. But these ones, they set upon us with a savage and almost uncontrollable range. Rage. Strange. Very strange. Now that Deftar mentions it, Dry Docks heard sound before Walkie Bugs attacked. It went BOOM! But it was not the BOOM of Walkie Bugs shooty sticks. And it was much, much scarier. Dry Docks heard it from the forest as well. Did you hear that, Master? There can be no doubt of it. Our quarry is up to something here as well. We must make for the forest. Yes, to Tail Feather. Worry not, I will tell the storyteller that we are safe from harm. Please go visit Marsasham Mar and see if all is well. I will join you with all speed. Okie doke. Deftarm looks as happy as Drydox does when she found a trove of Nanka eggs. Drydox is happy for Deftarm, but worries for his safety. Uplander will be careful too, yes? I guess. All right. Let's roll! So, yeah. Uh, during the time that I was not in my house, stayed at my parents, and it was nice to see them again. I just don't want to be in there. You, you know, it's like you spend so much time with your family that's... Some people have really good relationships with their parents. Me, it's okay. I wish it could be better, but... You know those kids who, on retrospect, is like, you know, I had a really terrible childhood growing up, in retrospect. Kind of like this, that with me. But yeah, well... One of the things... Actually, the only real thing I did was, like, sit back, relax, chat up a little conversation, and I wrote a couple of books, both by John Scalzi. Two books that I got my mother, because she's an avid reader, and I know she doesn't have science fiction books. Alright, Master Sham. We'll talk about those books later. They're both very good books. Oh ho, look who's back. What brings you to tail, friend? Their friend? That deft arm got you on another wild chocobo chase, I reckon? It ain't a wild chocobo chase. Let him speak for himself. <sighs> we chase something far more frightening than chocobos, Master Sham. I come on behalf of the Moogles of Mogholm. I ask you, have you encountered a masked man brandishing a gun in this forest? Great I have indeed, as much as I like to say otherwise. See, this man's been making quite a name for himself in these parts, and it ain't a good one. I had the misfortune of running into him myself not hours ago. He came here, you say? Where did he go? You must tell me, Marsa Champ. I must know. Listen to me, Deftarm, and listen well. If you know what's good for you, 
You'll walk out of here the way you came and forget anything and everything you ever heard or saw about that man. The man you're after is an adventurer, but not one of the nice ones like your master here. Aye, uh, he's nothing short of the most, most ruthless assassins our realm has ever seen. A cold-blooded killer who's never met a job too dirty or dangerous for his liking. Nor one he has failed to carry out with lethal perfection. An adventurer, you say? Why, who better to pursue this man than master and myself? Yes, this is our duty, our calling. Did you hear a single bloody word I... <sighs> Sometimes I don't even know why I bloody try. Worry not, Master Chomp. Your words of warning have not fallen on deaf ears. But I am the deft arm, and I must do what needs be done. Is that not so, Master? <laughs> if you're itching to get your heads blown off your shoulders, who am I to stop you? Your man was last seen heading for the western highlands of Kirthless. Just don't come crying to me when the hunter becomes the hunted. Thank you, friend. And worry not. Between Master and myself, we will be more than a match for this masked menace. Mind you, Master, I do not wish to rely overmuch on your aid. I accept this job from the Moogles, and I intend to see it done with my own hand. That said, I would ask you to accompany me for moral support. You understand, yes? Nod. Excellent. And with that, let us be off to Curthus. Perhaps our friend Gentilol will have some news for us upon our arrival. Yes, surely he will. I am butchering these French names so hard, you have no idea. Alright, I would love to continue right here, but unfortunately, I need to take care of something real quick. Restroom break. So, let me just go ahead and turn on the idling camera, and I will be right back just real quick.
I have returned. There we go. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, goodness. Yeah, sorry about that. Another reason why I don't usually stream at this time is because bodily function is going to bodily function. All right. Oh, we need to speak with Jatala the Convictory, which is going to be way over there. In fact, I think it's actually faster for me to just fly there from here. Yeah, pretty much. All right, just checking up on the FC chat. They're just saying like, hey, some big massive monsters are available on other servers than the one I'm on. But you guys can't read that because my camera hides chat for several reasons. One, it gets cursed. And two, privacy of other people. Right? Got to keep that in mind. So the two books that I did read while I was at my parents' place, it only took maybe three to four hours per book. Because they're relatively short books, but they're easily to understand, and they, you know, nice art print and all that. Both by John Scalzi. The first one was the Kaiju Preservation Society. Which, immediately, reading that line, if you are interested in, wait, what? Read the book. Trust me, read the book. If, if that kind of, if that line kind of puts you off, just bear with, bear with me on this. It's a very casually friendly book. Right? It's definitely one that I think was pretty good. And, oh. 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 You have cards, don't you? Uh, I have both these cards. So in order, huh? Okay. Let me just take care of this real quick so I can get, like, another bit of achievement stuff done. All right. He's going to make a big mistake eventually. Uh... Huh. Let's try that again. I'm going to keep doing that, pal. Yeah, here's the part I need to think. So, yeah, Kaiju Preservation Society, very good book. The other one I read was one called Starter Villain. And oh my goodness, that book is absolutely hilarious. There's no better way of putting it. It is just outlandishly hilarious. Gosh darn it, we tied again? All right. All right. Challenge. You know, I'm going to do the recommended one. Yeah. Starter Villain is essentially exactly what it says on the tin. It's like a James Bond villain for the first time. That's pretty much all you need to know about it. It is amazing. Got to be one of the favorite books I've ever read of all time. So this is going to be a little more action-packed. Uh, there we go. Here we go. There we go. That's a win. Yep, that's fine. I, I just wanted to take care of that real quick. So, jet to the off. Let's do this. Ah, tis you. Forgive me, but a pressing matter requires my undivided attention at the moment. If you need something of me, pray return on the morrow. Yeah, about that, buddy. Please listen, gentle for a pressing matter requires our attention as well. Yes, very pressing. On behalf of the Moogles of Bogholm, we have come to Curthis in pursuit of a certain adventurer. He wears a mask on his face and wields a pistol in his hand. Perhaps you have seen such a man? Seen him, you say? I caught a glimpse. I arrived just in time to see him nigh blast ahead off of one of my loyal men before commandeering our brand new mana cutter and flying off into the fury knows where. You will forgive me if I'm somewhat on edge. We scrimped and saved what little coin we could muster and waited months on end until this vessel was available, only to see it spirited away from us the selfsame day, all while I could do nothing but look on like a helpless half-wit. At least I emerged from the episode unscathed, which is more than I can say for my subordinate. Serves him right, though. Maybe when his wounds heal, he'll think twice before picking a fight with a hardened criminal in a calm tree wine-induced stupor. You heard me right. Ridisc ridiculous? Mask or no? That man isn't one to be trifled with. I know not how well these moogles are paying you, but I highly doubt that the reward is worth your life. This is not a matter of coin, but one of trusted duty. What is an adventurer worth if his words count for nothing? 
Nothing, I say. Yes, the Deftar will see this job done. Now tell me, which way did the Masked Man go? <laughs> you have spirit. I will give you that. Adventuring sounds to be a thankless job, but I wish you the best in it. Your man and my mana cutter were last sighted heading for the Sea of Clouds. Do try to stay alive, won't you? Thank you, friend, and worry not for me. The deft arm has the courage and conviction of a hundred of you, your men. We will see this merciless marauder brought to justice. You don't suppose this masked man truly is as dangerous as our friend suggests, do you, master? I cannot help but feel like they are underestimating our abilities. Anyhow, let us confer in private and form a plan of attack. Nod. Okay, 935 gold richer. Because we're not getting any experience points. I'm, I'm level 90 with everybody. Huh? Lift me to the moon. Were it me, I'd want nothing to do with that man, but I suppose adventurers like yourself do not have the same luxury. I know that you are more than capable of holding de your own on the field of battle, to say the least, but still, do be careful out there. Alright. Lift me to the moon. The deft arm is trembling with equal parts excitement and fear. Oh, no. So this is the third tribe. They're the Vanu Vanu. What say you, master? Reaching the Sea of Clouds is as simple as traveling northeast and hopping on the back of a Kongamato. But which, wherever should we go from there? Is there anyone in that distant land that might aid us in our quest? Yeah, they're called the Vanu Vanu. The Vanu Vanu? Of the island of Okgundu? Naki? These names and sounds are unfamiliar to me. To have won the trust and friendship of a tribe I have not so much as heard of, let alone seen. Once again, I am beside myself with admiration, Master. As your devoted pupil, I am eager to earn their trust as well. To the Sea of Clouds, Master. I shall race you there. Why is it always with the racing with you? Can't, can't we just like... <sighs> okay. I'm sorry. Bootyus Maximus Booty? That's a name. All right, meanwhile, we need to head to uh, the Vanu Vanu. So if you couldn't tell by my dejected size, the last tribe are the Vanu Vanu. Unlocking them is not a problem in the slightest. Getting their quest done, on the other hand, it's very much go to this place, go to the other. But the Vanu Vanu have this gigantic, massive area. I cannot state how terribly large this area is. And when you're doing a quest, you are more you're not just going like a small distance. You're going from one side of this map all the way to the other. It takes a solid 2 minutes just to fly. And it's a lot. So the story behind the Vanu Vanu is that the Vanu Vanu were trying to get away from the Ganu it, it's it's silly. So they have the Vanu, the Vanu, uh, basically they were trying to, you know, splinter off from another group of very terrible people. And uh, in order to defeat them, they had to do a dance battle. A really dumb, stupid dance battle. It's the sun drop dance. I can even join in. By like doing this. Yeah. This is the dance. It's essentially the Haka. Yeah, it is so stupid. I hate this quest line so much. But yeah, Linovanu. Shake returns to us as warm spring breeze after long winter, and you could not have come at a better time. For tonight, we shall feast. On what? The bath is with me. Master, you must save me! I had just arrived on these shores when these monstrous bird creatures captured me. I think they mean to eat me. You honor us with your return, Jake. We will celebrate your arrival with a great feast. Look here! Funny Wamora Kampa stumbles into our trap like clumsy paisa falling into sinkhole. A strange one it is, but surely tasty. Bring Shellcracker! Minu Vano shall knead its meat into his specialty cat's foot chew. Yeah, uh, guys, don't do that. He's a friend of mine. He's in the tribe. He's way down on the ground. Please don't eat him. Really, don't eat him. Your 
pupil, you say? Oh, forgive me, Shake. Linu Vanu owes you apologies as innumerable as the stars in the night sky. Release the Netherling's bite-sized friend at once. I know you're... <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been disastrous. I see. Linu Vanu shares your struggle and your pain and wishes he could be of aid. But such a person is not known to Linu Vanu or the Gundu. Deeply sorry is Linu Vanu. It is with shame and heavy heart that Linu Vanu speaks of his own worries, but Linu Vanu fears for his sister. Lini, Linu Vali departs Okgundu Naki in search of ideas for a new dance. Linu Vanu waits and waits, but she does not return. Linu Vanu fears storm clouds are brewing. Master, if the masked man is behind this, then Linu Vali may be in grave danger. Very grave. We should go quickly, yes? You got it. Jake and Apprentice are like shining sun to chase away the clouds of Linu Vano's anxious heart. If Linu Vano knows his sister, you are likely to find her in Vur Sian Siran. Go in safety, my friends. Nod, nod. Thank you for saving me, Master. I am unfamiliar with this cat's foot chew, but I would prefer not to be chewed up all the same. I must say, I find these Vanu Vanu somewhat intimidating. Anyhow, let us be off to Vur... wherever that was. Hang on. I don't think these alerts... No. Why am I... Hang on. This might actually be important. Sorry for one sec. Okay. Alright, so this was a... Oh, huh, weird. I got a ping for something I was not... Ping dot. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's weird. That is definitely weird. Dude. Right. Regardless, yeah. I have notifications off on my laptop because the notification sound will go through onto the stream. But on my phone, it's also on silent. <laughs> And I have to see out of the corner of my eye, I got like four or five notifications. I'm like, maybe this is something I need to take care of because <laughs> I'm a busy guy. But nope, it was my free company's drag race through Eden. Which is going to be interesting. It's like, yeah, you know, Pride Month, drag race. Yeah. I'm not participating in it because I don't think I'm going to be available during that time. And also, I don't know how fabulous I can really look. Not going to lie. <laughs> not with this Ellison. No, no, no. I've... Ugh. He's like an avatar of me. I... Ugh, ugh. No. Just no. That... That... No. For the people who do, great. All the more power to you. Rock those outfits. As for me, I will stick with the baggy jeans and t-shirts. Alright. But yeah, they're also doing this drag race for charity, which is a very good thing. So... But then again, I also had like a bed bug uh, thing happening this weekend. And for those of you who don't know how much that costs, it's at least four figures. No, I am not kidding. It is a lot. I have money set aside for like emergency purposes and all. So this took a dent out of the emergency funds. But I am hardly in dire straits in the slightest. So I just got to be careful for the next couple of months and pray nothing breaks. Lena Valley, is everything okay? What are you staring at? That's called a moon, Linu Vali. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, Jake. Your presence is ever like a gentle breeze on a summer's day. Whatever brings you back to the home of the Vanu Vanu? Oh, but that isn't the most succulent-looking Mamoru Kamba Linu Vali has ever seen. He is with me. How many times must I say it? I am not a Wamara anything, and I am most certainly not to be eaten. I am the Vath Deft Arm, and I am an adventurer. Please tell her, Master. Yeah, so the bug's with me. You can't eat them. Sorry, rules are rules. A thousand pardons, friend, Deft Arm. Linu Vali's nose was deceived by your most inviting aroma. Do not worry, you are safe with Linu, Linu Vali. That said, I fear I have seen and heard nothing of this masked man of whom you speak. 
Inuvali did not mean to cause brother to worry. Linuvali simply came here to practice her new dance. Linuvali would show it to you, but she fears that there is not much yet to be worth of showing. But of course, surely you have encountered a new dance in your travels, Jake. A dance unlike anything seen by Gunu or your kind? If you know such a dance, pray show it to Linuvali. Then it might be his lightning bolt of inspiration. Okay. What dance do you want me to do? Uh, perform for Linuvali a slash dance she has never seen. Okay, how about... Moogle Dance. Nope. Uh... Mog Dance. Oh, wait, that actually worked?! <laughs> I think I stumbled upon the right answer, actually. Yes, yes! Vigor and vitality wells up from within Linuvali like a fount gushing skyward from the earth. This is the bolt of inspiration I have so long sought. With this, Linuvali will create a dance that will go down in Gundu history. What is with this dancing? And you, master, forget these overgrown birds. I would have thought you of all people would understand the seriousness of our task. We are never going to find that masked man bouncing around like fools. It's important to the Vanuvanu. Trust me, it's part of their culture. A thousand pardons, friend. Neither Jake nor Linuvali meant to offend. We sympathize with your plight, but pray understand. To Ivanu, dance is not foolishness. Oh no. It is an act as sacred as life and death. If it does not help you in your quest, Linuvalu is sorry, sorry, and yet... Shh! Master! Over there! I cannot believe I am saying this, but if my eyes see true, that is... Alright, let's take care of this masked man. So I don't know if the Moogle dance was actually the correct answer, or if it was just any dance that wasn't a regular dance. That is... a familiar face. I knew it! It's him! You there! Who are you and what have you done to Gullenbursty? Oh boy! Can a man enjoy- can a man not enjoy a bath in peace? Oh god, did you have to zoom in on that? Then again, I know better than to expect common courtesy from beastmen brutes. Even those who are watched to travel with more... civilized types. Oh hey, look, it's you again! Who are you? Well, well. Now there's a face I'd never thought I'd see again. Though I suppose you would say the same of Naza Jab, wouldn't you, old friend? Map, you've come to thrill and delight me, for old times' sake. I ask you a question, vile rogue. What did you do to the dragon Gullenbursty? You will give me an answer, or, or I, the Deft Arm, will beat one out of you. <laughs> a brute and a beast you may be, but you have spirit. If you did not repulse me so, I might almost like you. Here's your answer. I did my job, and nothing more. A simple task, to scour the churning mists for a mighty dragon, and pierce his scales with a single bullet, a bullet that would warp his mind and twist his heart, destroying any semblance of the noble creature he once was, until all that remained was a brute consumed with pure animal rage. A beautiful thing, is it not? What? What madness is this? The hearts of others are not yours to control! Curious words coming from one of your kind. Go back to your hive, Nath. You were never meant to possess a mind of your own. You know nothing of me. I am the Vath Deftarm, an adventurer just like the master who trained me. I have tracked you, I have found you, and I will see you answer for your deeds. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, but my ears must be playing tricks on me. For a moment there, I thought I heard the witless antling say he was an adventurer. Silence! I am more of an adventurer than you will ever be. Now answer me! What master do you serve? And what does he mean to do with Gullenbursty? I serve some imperial lackwit whose name I could not be bothered to remember. A fool's coin is worth as much as any man's, you see. And they tend to part with it more easily than most. Now, would you mind lowering your weapon? As you can see, I am unarmed. Though I suppose I should know better than to expect decency from an animal. Buddy, you're wearing a loincloth in the middle of nowhere. And you're, you're telling, you're talking to me about decency? 
Come on, bruh. Throw a towel on or something. The deft arm is no animal. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, not good. All too easy. Didn't your master teach you not to trust me? You, you do not fight with honor. You're a quick learner. Though not quick enough, I'm afraid. Now we know what this can do to a dragon. I wonder what it might do to a nap. I'm a little distracted by the pixelation on that gun. Whatever. Uh oh Or a Vanu Vanu. Or even... Oh, yes. No! Leave my friends alone or I... I will rend the fresh flesh from your bones! <laughs> yes, yes! Let me taste your fear and your hatred, your rage and despair. Despise me, abhor me, delight me. <laughs> Who goes there? Who dares intrude on Gundu lands? And just when I was starting to get in the mood. But perhaps we might enjoy ourselves another way. Uh-oh! Oh dear. My, my head, my body, my arms ache! Uh-oh. Oh dear, it seems your friends aren't so friendly anymore. Well, do have fun killing each other. There's somewhere I must be. He's back. Quickly, Shake, join Linu Vali, and together we will dance them away. You sure that's gonna work? Okay. I don't think it's working! The sun drop dance does not reach them. Linu Vali knows not if she is ready, but there is no other way. Watch, Jake. Watch her move with Linu Vali. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I'm starting to recognize this dance. I've seen it before. <laughs> Even the bath is like, what is this? What? What madness has taken us? F forgive us, Lino Valley. We meant no harm. That is the most confused bug ever. <laughs> we win the dance off. Yay! We, we, guys, we can wrap up the uh, Step It Up dance routine, please. We, we got stuff to do. <laughs> Linu Vali knew she could count on Jake. Even without practice, Jake's motions match Linu Vali in perfect harmony, like we are brother and sister from the same nest. Jake and Linu Vali, Netherling and Gundu, dance as one. Different beings we are, but together we lift each other to new heights and shine radiant light through the darkness. In honor of this, Linu Vali would name her new dance Moonlift Dance. A fine name, wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. I mocked you, but your dance has proved stronger than I could ever be. When confronted with my greatest challenge yet, it is I who made a mockery of myself. So when do I get that dance?
Thanks to you, Jake, Moonlift Dance is now complete and is a shining success. When the storm has passed, we will hold a great celebration at Okgundunaki, and together we will dance. I'll let you do that. F forgive me, Master. For all you have taught me, I can do nothing against our foe, and he has eluded us again. Whatever shall we do? Do not lose heart, friend. For now, let us return to Okgundunaki. Brother is surely worried for us, and Linu Vali would put his heart at ease. All right. My cat is almost drowning in this water. <laughs> See, that was a what? <laughs> I recognize the dance because I've seen people doing it before, but, uh... I gotta tell the free company, V. Let's see if any of them can figure out. All I typed in the free company chat was, well, that just happened in the HW Ally Tribe quest. <laughs> no immediate responses, but then again, it's also Monday evening. People are probably just wrapping up dailies or whatever. But yeah, so remember when I said it took a really long time to go all the way across the map? Yeah, I'm not kidding at all. I've played Mahjong games that lasted shorter than this. And I'm not joking, I have. Alright, coming in for the landing. Linuvali. Linuvali told Brother all about our encounter with the Masked Man and how Linuvali and Jake chased the threat away. Brother is eager to see our Moonlift dance with his own eyes. Alright. Wherever shall we go now, Master? Shall we go after that masked man? Perhaps we might begin by tracking down the master he serves. Or perhaps we should return to Mogholm and share what we have learned with Master Mogzin. Doubtless he is eager to know. Koopapo? Did somebody call? Oh, hey! I mean, it's not really a surprise to see you here, but... Well, look what we have here! A cuddly little Gaelic cat and a fledgling chick. Have you wandered from your nest to join Linu Vali and her friends in dancing our new dance? They're not... Cat... Who are you calling a cat? I am Master Mogzin of the Mogmenders, the renowned guild of crafts moogles that repaired the ancient plaza of bar -les. Perhaps you have heard of us, Koopo? And I am no fledgling. Do you not see these resplendent scales? I am Oldy, a mighty and powerful dragon, cower in my wake. And just what are you supposed to be? Why, I have never seen such a portly, pudgy bird in my life. You do me too great an honor with your words, friends. <laughs> Way to deflect. My cheeks turn as red as a fiery sunset. I am Linu Vali of the Gundu, and I bid you welcome to Okgundu Naki. I do not think he meant that as a... Never mind. Master Mogzin, old D, what brings you to this place? We traveled far and wide, over mountains and across the skies, in pursuit of Gullenbursty. Our journey took us here, but just when we thought we had him, we evaded our paws, Kupo. We may have lost him, but we have now found you. I dare say today is not a total loss. Speaking of which, how did you and your pupil fare in your search for the masked man? Were you able to learn the truth of what he did to Golden Bursty? Yep. So this masked man I shot before, uh, that I thought was dead but really wasn't decided to take a shot at him and made him all angry. A weapon that can twist and warp the hearts of dragons and beasts? What a positively frightful proposition. The mere thought of it makes the fur on my back stand on end, Koopo. We did catch up with Gullen Bursty, but he was even less receptive to our words than before. He only let out a mighty roar, then soared out to the northeastern skies in a rage. It was almost as if something were calling him there. As much as it pains me to say it, I fear he may be gone for good, Kupo. Preposterous! Gullen Bursty was as kind and, and noble a dragon as I have ever known. Surely there is a way to reach him and restore him to his senses. I must agree with Old D. I saw it with mine own eyes. I did. When Master and Linuvali danced together, the rage of the mad Gundu was quick to subside. Yes, Linuvali swears this is true. As dance can reach the heart of us Vanu Vanu, surely there is a way to call out to your dragon friend too. That's right, 
I know not yet what it might be, but we must try. Gullimbercy has clearly been summoned to some strange land by that masked man's vile master. We must set out to the northeast and hurry to his side. Wait, friend. You do know what lies northeast of here, yes? It is as is La, the land of nightmares where all Vanu are forbidden to tread. It is with great shame that Linuvali says she can accompany you no further. And after all, Jake has done for Linuvali. Think nothing of it, nothing at all. This was a task for Master and I from the beginning, and Master and I will see it done. Is that not right, Master? Such powerful words, Kupo. I have the utmost confidence in you. And with that, I do believe I'll be heading back to Mog home. My hammer is made for crafting, not fighting after all. You are going home? What foolishness is this? You care for your friend Gullenbursty, do you not? Surely there is some way you could be of service without fighting any way at all. That's right, Mogzin. I thought you were a friend of dragons, to Gullenbursty and to me. I... I am sorry, but you will be better off without me. You must believe me, Kupo. Huh, plot twist. Nod. Does that Moogle have no shame? It would seem I was right about him after all. He is a lazy do-nothing, a slacker, and nothing more. Well... How very interesting. Oh, right, I can challenge you to triple try but I don't ever need to do that again. Let's just talk with Old D first. Say it is not so. I thought Mogsin was a friend to dragons, to Gullenbursty, and to me. Lena Vali, small talk. Lena Vali wishes she could accompany you, Jake, and yet Vanu Vanu tradition forbids me from setting foot in that forbidden land. Pray go in safety, my friend. All right. The deft arm is daunted but undeterred. Oh, look! We get the moon lift dance from this! I know not what awaits us in this strange land, nor if we are up to the task. But as adventurers, we must press on with courage. Yes, great courage. Do you fancy your wings faster than my Kongamato, oldie? I suppose we shall see. The last one to ask his law is a rotten nunca egg. Ha! You think that overgrown gnat of yours is any match for the wings of a mighty dragon? Prepare to taste the sting of humiliation. Okay. Sure, we're just going to uh, warp here, I guess. And after this, I will be at 666 Aetherite tickets. So, welcome to Az's Law. The mighty old D bested by a glorified insect? Inconceivable! Mark my words, in a hundred years, I will have my revenge. I gotta do it. You keep using that horn. I do not think it means what you think it means. Alright, that depth arm. An island made of metal and machinery? It is strange to me, Master. Very strange. However are we to find Gullenbursty in such curious and forbidding environs? Worry not, my faithful faint-hearted friend. Faint-hearted friend. This land may be unfamiliar to you, but not to me and my kind. Yes, I can feel the presence of mighty dragons all around us. We need only stop one nest politely if they have seen aught of Gullenbursty. Surely they will not be averse to lending a fellow dragon their wisdom. You are fortunate indeed that I have accompanied you here, are you not? Yes, I dare say you are. So, uh, I'm curious. I th oh. Oh. So this is gonna be a little awkward. Um. There's a dragon here that at a certain point in the main story quest, it's released. It's like way late in the story. And like I said, like earlier this stream, these are time locked sort of quests. So anything that happens in the future doesn't necessarily reflect in the past, which is like an ice cream Cohen if I ever heard it. Interesting. Here we go. Speak with that. The dragons in these parts are unobliging. Very unobliging. Perhaps it would be best if I remain silent and let the asking to old D. 
All right, old D, do your thing. What is the meaning of this? My fellow dragons turn upon us one after the next without listening to a word I have to say. Is it? It is as if they've all been driven mad like poor Gullenbursty. Is there no dragon in this land who would listen to reason? Well, there's this one dragon over there. But of course, Tiamat, why did I not think of this myself? Yes, yes, I understand about her torment and all, but I'm sure she'll not be averse to helping a future mighty dragon such as myself. Let us be off and hope she's actually still there. Because otherwise, uh, things are going to get a little awkward. <laughs> it's over this way. just got really awkward <laughs> normally she's there but story-wise uh <laughs> hang on I um I need to take a quick screenshot of this just real quick uh Hatsu could you come over here all right All right, I'll need to share on Discord later. All right, let's uh, wait at our destination, I guess. And lo and behold, she's here. <laughs> ah, the child who doth walk with my father. What bringeth thee and thine back to my forsaken abode? So yeah, uh, nice of you to drop by back in your rings again, forgetting everything that happened like near the end of one of the expansions. See, thou dost travel with a child of mine own. Speak, child, what dost thou seek to visit me in my lair of desolation and woe? O oh, great mother of dragons, many a tale of your suffering and sacrifice have I heard from my friend Jake here. I understand your agony and woe, truly I do, and I will let you return to your torment, but my friends and I were just wondering, might a dragon by the name of Gullenbursty come this way? He's a friend of ours, you see, quite large and red and... The name is not known to me, but yes, child. I have seen thy friend. A sorrowful sight he was, tearing through the skies, racked with wrath, as if his mind were no longer his own. He is not the first, and I fear he will not be the last, for it would seem there is one in these lands who wields an ancient power, one that can bring even mighty worms to heal. Curse it all! Is there nothing we can do? Is Gullenbursty already lost to us? Abandon not hope, my child. The mind of a dragon is not so feeble as that. There is yet a way to bring your friend back. This I can assure you. But how? We have tried everything and to no avail. What else is there we can do? Have you tried beating the crap out of him? Tis simple, child. Thou needest but call out to him with a roar summoned from the very depths of thine heart. That, and that alone, will stir your friend's heart and return to him to what he once was. But I... No, wait. I see. When we last saw Gullen Bursi, I called out to him with words, but mere words could not reach him. Thou dost see true. Now tarry not in this den of woe, but fly swiftly to the floating island that lies northeast of here, and to thy friend's side. Free him from his misery, and leave me to mine own. I shall do my best. Thank you, Mother Tiamat. And please try not to suffer too much, won't you? I cannot help but feel like we could have shown a bit more compassion to that poor dragon, but I suppose we had little choice. Yes, little choice. In any event, we know our destination now, so let us be off. I am reminded of days long past, when mine own were yet young. Go forth, child of man, that this young one might be spared a similar fate. You can escape now. <laughs> and she's gone. <laughs> So yeah, time bubbles. Don't you love them? Right, now, 
I'll uh, talk to the free company later. So now we need to rendezvous with the Death Darm way over here. Way over here. Yeah, Azizla is just as large, if not larger, than the Sea of Clouds. And it has a grand total of one Aetherite. Yeah, it's a little... It's a little much. By the way, that red quest there, that's the relic quest. Which, that's going to take a bit. But as we're flying over... Music in Heaven Word is very. What, I get, what am I saying? All the music in Final Fantasy XIV is pretty good. There's a cup. There's more exceptions to that rule than anything. All right, Old D. Look, I found him. He may look angry, but just wait until he hears my roar. He'll be the gun bursty we know and love in no time. I am certain of it. Where? W where? Where are you at? I don't see him in here. He ain't flying around there. Okay. It is Gullen Bursty, and he is not alone. Come, master, let us make that villain pay. Yep, wait, am I gonna do like a moonlift dance with the Vath Depth Arm? That would be hilarious. Oh, there he is, sleeping. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to let sleeping dragons lie. Good night, the texture resolution is. Oh, who is that? <laughs> That's elegant technology for you. One clean shot, and even a mighty dragon can be brought to heal. Now I need only fit this Neuralink about his neck, and he will be my loyal dog ever at my beck and call. Then the fools at the Academy will know. They will gasp in awe, then hang their heads in shame and chagrin. Until they die, they will rue the day they underestimated Drusus Malsoranus. <laughs> This is going to get real awkward real fast. Gullen Bursty? Can you hear me? It is I, your proud pupil, Old D. You villains! What have you done to Gullen Bursty? Followed us here, have you? That's almost impressive. As for your friend, he's simply taking a little nap. Fortunately for you, I might add. Who are these intruders? Did you lead them here to me? N never mind. I'll double. No. Triple your pay. Exterminate them at once. Thank you for the offer, but I think I'll decline. Why, you've already given me something of far greater value. This toy, for one, and some most amusing playmates. What say you, Beastman Adventurer? Will you face off against your dragon friend in a battle to the death? Feel your wounds, taste your tears, and fight until your puny body can give no more. Oh, nothing would delight me more. Oh, dear. What do you think you're doing? Hand over my bracelet. Without it, I... I... This madness, Gullen Bursty! I beg of you! Stay your hand, Master. There is still good in him. Though the anger and rage, I know his mind is fighting to break free. I can still self destruct, I'm a blue mage. Wait, I don't know how to have equipped on my spell book. Never mind. Gullen 
Gullen Mercy, please, you must listen to me. I say, Gullen Mercy, stop this at once, Koopo. Moxon! No! Gullen Mercy, return to us, please! What is this place? Gullen Mercy? Thank the heavens that it was I, it was my roar that brought him back! And yet, Moxon, say it's not so. It's not the same hammer. You, you are the one who did this to me. Oh boy. Heh, <laughs> and I'm just as happy to do it again. Not if we have anything to say about it, right my friends? Once again, my marvelous mannequin comes to the rescue. Though I must say, I was hoping to make a more dramatic entrance, Koopo. I, for one, thought it most impressive. Very impressive. Thank you, friend Mogzin, for coming to our aid. Another mockery? And here I was about to shed a tear for you. You owe me an apology, I say. Forgive me, my friends. I did much thinking, and while the importance of tradition cannot be ignored, I could not very well send my truest friends into the eye of the storm alone. <sighs> Oof. Crunch. You have ever been a rainbow of hope and succor to us, friends. It seems only fair that we return the favor in kind. Here he goes again! There's the mana cutter. For a gaggle of brutes, you have been the most entertaining division. Enjoy your victory, short-lived as it may be, for I shall return and you can be sure I will not forget this day! Who has a gun? You want to shoot him? Not so fast. I do not call myself the deft arm for nothing. And there. Wow. Wow. That was a little bigger boom than I was expecting. <laughs> Okay, Hildebrand called, he wants his facial animations back. Tell the truth, I followed you all the way here, concealing myself with magics as we Moogles are wont to do. You see, Koopo, I realized the only way I could help was with my, my pr pranks. And to deceive our foe, I first had to deceive you. You will forgive me, yes? Without your pranks, we would not have triumphed today. I am sorry, very sorry, for ever suggesting it was any less than a remarkable art. Well, thank you, Koopo. And the way you shot down that airship? Pray forgive me for asking an adventurer of your skill to haul rocks and crack kookbo nuts. 
Well, now, if we're going to sit around heaping praise on one another, do not forget that it was none other than I who brought Gull and Bursty back to us. Mogzin, you saw my most triumphant and mighty roar, did you not? Roar? After Gull and Bursty rose my mannequin, I was so frightened that I averted my eyes and plugged my ears for the rest of the battle. Did I miss something, Koopo? Did you miss something? I have a mind to roar you into oblivion, you noodle-brained moogle! <laughs> I owe you all a debt of gratitude this day. Many years have I lived, but never have I seen so many and multivarious beings come together for a common cause. It inspires me to strive for the same. And you, old D, it would seem it was your roar that freed me from my madness. You've grown strong, and in so short a span. Impressive, indeed. Just you watch. In another 300 years, I'll be bigger and stronger than you will ever be. And I will welcome that day, young one. Now let us bid farewell to this accursed land and return home. Fear not if you don't remember the way, Gullen Bursty. Just stay close by my side, I'll see you home safely. Shall we return as well, Master? You got it! My friends, if you are not in a great hurry, pray stop over in Okundunaki on your way. The feast we had planned is long overdue, and I dare say that now there is all the more reason to celebrate. Let us dance until the sun gives way to the stars, and back again. Party, 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 party. Alright, speak with Linu Vali at Okundunaki. Alright, we're gonna warp here. You know what? No. I'm not using a teleport ticket. It's only like 109 gil for that. No, it's like 120, but because of reduced rates with the free company I'm with. Alright, Mog's in! They say that there is a settlement of Moogles in the Sea of Clouds. I'm afraid of journeying too far on my own, but perhaps next time we might go there together, Tkupo. Bath. I have heard, Master. They say that this village, too, was born as a result of your efforts. If you would not mind telling it, I would very much like to hear that story one day. Very much indeed. Alright. Minu Valley! All of Okundunaki waits in eager anticipation to see our moonlift dance. If Jake is ready, Lenu Vali is ready as well. Let the festivities begin! Let's boogie! And that's enough dancing. Come now, my friends. Let us dance this dance together, that we might build a double rainbow to span the skies. I caught that reference from 2009. Was it 2000? It might have been later, but whatever. Leave it to me. We Moogles know a thing or two about dancing. Come to think of it, this dance seems somehow familiar, Kupo. What? I fear these legs are not made for dancing. Clumsy they are. Very clumsy. <laughs> Are we going to shame him into dancing? <laughs> Even the Moogle's doing it? <laughs> I didn't think they would actually get to animate that. Okay, that was funny. <laughs> Very silly funny. That was a feast and a dance for the ages, my friends. And never would this day have come if it were not for Jake and the bonds he has forged among us all. May they ever hold strong. But of course, Kupo, let us dance together, Linuvali, and make mirth and merry for many years to come. And we are happy as well to share the art of pranks and artifice with the Bath, who understand us oh so well. 
Just you watch. Next time I will devise a trick so devious that it will make the palm on your head spin. They can spin, yes? Master, it was an honor and a pleasure to adventure with you once more. I thought I knew the world, but I see now that it is wider and vaster than I ever imagined. Still, I feel I have seen and grown much through this journey. You will always be my master, but I feel as if, little by little, I am becoming your peer. Forgive me for being forward, but might I call you Jake from time to time? Absolutely. Jake, the most impressive name indeed. Clearly, you were always destined for great things. Yes, very great. I am honored to call myself your pupil. Until our next adventure. Nod. Nod. And with that, we get the Moonlift Dance. Reputation up. Your reputation is increased to allied with the Gundu, the Vath, and the Mogmenders. Furthermore, you now have access to a wider selection of wares from Lunavanu, the Vath Stick Peddler, and Mogmool Mogbelly. You've learned the emote, Moonlift Dance. Through your efforts, your allies of all shapes and sizes across Ishgard have forged bonds of friendship that promise to remain strong through the years. You are truly a hero to tribes across the realm. And with that, hey now, you're an all-star. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, very good. So I believe that should be the end of all the quests that I need to do. But we're not quite done. No, 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 no. We need to see what we can buy. So we have Shade Advisor, Vanu Vanu Head. We have the Zundu. We can. We basically now have slightly different colored armor that we can buy from the Vanu Vanu. So Vanu Hard, Cold Knights, Cook Fire. That's all well and good. That's just neat in there. Let me just double check. Yep, I can even purchase these with the white bone exchange. I have 95 of these for some reason. So we have Vanu Vanu and Zundu. I don't believe any of these can be dyed. Nope, they cannot. Why did I choose the boots? Why did I go with the pants? So that way I'm not showing off my underoos. <sighs> Why am I... <laughs> All right, venture, coming home, orchestration roll. We got that, unidentifiable stuff. Alright, yeah, it seems like the only thing that's different here is that we get a couple more things to uh, buy in terms of armor. But I'm real curious about the Moogles, though. I honestly don't know. Because the Vath also sell armor that, depending on the looks, you can do some stuff with. So I'm expecting there to be, like, another variation of that armor there. But what about the Moogles? Not the mender sticks. I don't know anything that needs mending. All right. We get gloaming coral, cloud Mika, da, 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 dandelion, wind up dragonette. Oh, wind up old D. I will gladly take that. Cloud mollusk marks worthy. Okay. Neat. Gotta pop that. All right. Uh, that's the one I just checked. I need. The Carved Coupon Nut Exchange. So this is all stuff that I can get for my crafters and gatherers, I believe. Yeah, I don't need that. Other. Google Framers Kit, Glass Fiber, Bone Shell, Aura Seeds. Alright. I have 245 of these things. Like, good night. That is way too many. And finally, let's head over to Tail Feather. Because we need to check out what was the last thing I unlocked. Oh, goodness. It's almost like Mount Gold, but I know it isn't. Is that Aziz's Law? No, that's not Aziz's Law. I think that's just the thing. They never really speak about the floating mountain thing here. Last stop is going to be with the bath. Vath Stick Peddler. Purchase items. Yep, we have the Nath and the Vath. So, basically just the heads in armor. That's all there was to that. Zol Greens, Silkus Bud, Tantal Plant, Wind Up Nath, Wind Up Vath, 
Kagamata Whistle, Nathic Lamp Tree. So not a whole lot more, which is kind of a shame. So wait, the Vath Thorax is the only thing that's different? <laughs> wait, hang on a second. Uh, if I try on... When I mouse over this, there's an icon in the upper right that has like a little shield icon. So it's glamorable, but that is not... Huh. But if I compare it to the other one, that little shield icon goes away. Does that mean it's diable? I think it means it's diable. No, it is not. What does that shield icon mean? I recognize the glamour icon and I recognize the armoire icon. I don't recognize that one off the top of my head. Da, 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 da. Shop selling price of 130. Wait, what? <laughs> I happen to realize that. Hang on. I, no, not you. I don't need to speak with you. Purchase items. Yeah, this goes for 130,000. Wow. Hang on, there's, there's some... I don't know what that symbol means off the top of my head. I'm trying to piece it together in my mind, but it ain't working. But yeah, that's basically it for the Heavensward Allied quests. What a wonderful way to wrap things up, right? Next time is going to be... Oh, everyone's allied. Also, I need is. Everyone's allied there. A Realm Reborn, everyone's allied here. So up next is getting all of these up to Bloodsworn. That is... Mm. So my original plan was to try and get these first three expansions done before Dawn Trail launches on the 28th of June. I don't think that's possible. I think the timing is a little short. But that's fine. That's fair. I mean, I'm just doing these casually whenever I can. And I've, I've just, you know, I've been prepping for Dawn Trail for quite some time. If I go to the... Da, 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 you know, the last... No, not that. Dungeon. Dungeon of Endwalker. Uh, the last Dungeon in Endwalker is a 620. So that is something to keep in mind. But if you're going to Realm Reborn, the last dungeon here is a... Average level 90. Average level... Uh, 110, 70, 80. One of these is like legitimate. Oh, it's this one. That's right. This is the last one. Average level of 90. Going to Heaven's Word, the first one is going to be a average item level of 100. Right? If we go to. This is the canonical last one. Item level of 230. Going into the first dungeon of Stormblood should be 240. Right? So. And then we go from here to Gimlet Dark, which is the last Stormblood. Yeah, I'm spoiling a bunch of stuff. 360 is the last uh, item level for the Gimlet Dark. And then the first Shadowbringers dungeon is 370. Yep. So if that pattern continues of each... Uh, so if I need 620, 630 should be the minimum eye level I should be aiming for all of these jobs in order to start taking them through Dawn Trail. Or at least starting. That's what I've mostly been working on. It's kind of slow going. The tribe stuff is just other, uh, other stuff I do for emotes and mounts and other goodies like that. But yeah, the Stormblood ones, I'm enjoying this tribal story stuff. The other stuff. Yeah, Masked Man is totally going to come back in Stormblood. I'm calling it now. He is going to be the recurring villain over and over and over again. And as I've stated before, Shadowbringers does not have allied quests because COVID-19 happened. They had to cut back on production and that just happened to fall through the cracks and they haven't gotten around to making more of them i guess they could sometime in the future but no guarantees so yeah i think that is going to do it for me i'm gonna head back to my free company house because if there's one thing i want to do is book nope not fellowship finder that's the wrong one i wanted to click the emote button emotes we got Moonlift Dance. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. All right, so that's going to be it for my stream today. It was an impromptu Monday stream because I literally hadn't been doing any streams at all. 
this past weekend because of in real life stuff. So, when it comes down to the final shape for Destiny 2, if it is decent, I might play that Friday. If not, it's going to be something else. Saturday is going to be Splatoon because of the, uh, you know, the big, big run that's happening. I got to get some footage for that. Got to get my stream in for that. Got to get some hours, right? But yeah, other than that, everybody, let's, uh, hang on. Do -do -do. I am, nope, that's, uh, motion. All right, until next time, everybody, take care.